Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. EA Sports is full sending this final week of footies with a 99 rated footies vote that they dropped yesterday on the game. It has got the market going crazy. It has got people selling cards and getting excited for this next week, the final week, I think, of footies. And it's a big day tomorrow and Friday with the winner of this SBC, whoever it's going to be going to be dropped on the game because three massive French cards are dropped in the voting. I want to take a look at that. Also take a look at the Griezmann SBC that we had yesterday, which was very well priced in my opinion, as it was an ultimate footies SBC, kind of like we thought that it was. Five star, five star, a great card. And again, like I said, a lot of the market has taken a huge hit in price because of a couple different reasons. And I want to go through that in today's video, but also even talk about how some cards could drop even further this morning and later today with supply of the division rivals rewards because a lot of people are taking tradable rewards right now right now just because of where uh, a lot of prices on the lower tier of fodder are at it's actually not a bad idea to take tradable rewards from division rivals um, with all the cards in packs and with a lot of gold rares being expensive so we're going to take a look at that today and of course take a look at what could be dropping today on probably a pretty quiet thursday of FIFA 22. But if you're enjoying the videos on the channel and if you're excited for this 99 rated footies vote, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Now, the voting yesterday, that's what I want to start off by talking about because it's big. And I mean, we thought EA Sports was going to go out with a bang and they absolutely have done so. Now, what I'm going to show you is not the actual cards that we're getting, but the three players that were in the vote. And this tweet and this mock up was made here by SAF Boss. The footies voting results. I think he made a poll on Instagram. These are the three players that are in the vote, and the percentages are kind of how he thinks it's going to play out, and I think these are pretty accurate percentages. It looks like, in my opinion, between these three players that were in the vote from yesterday, we would probably get an Usman Dembele and a Rafael Varane 99-rated footies cards this upcoming weekend. Again, we get three players in the vote as normal, and two of them will end up getting the premium footies design SBCs, one on Friday and one on Sunday. Now, it doesn't really matter who wins first and who wins second. It's just a matter of the top two of three are who we're going to get as the cards in the game. And again, as we mentioned, this vote is going to give us 99 rated players. That was the whole point of the vote. I really think that Varane and Dembele are going to win this. I mean, I feel like any other vote, Teo Hernandez would win. As a 99 rated, Teo Hernandez would be really cracked as a French left back. So many people love Teo in this game. But with Usman being an attacker, already being 5-star, five 5-star, five and with Varane not having a special card since the flashback during Team of the Year, I think so many people are going to vote for Varane and Dembele. Now, today on Thursday, we don't have a leak for this yet, but today on Thursday, I would imagine that we would get a leak from Foot Sheriff kind of telling us about who might end up winning um, and be the first winner. Um, we also have not even had a vote or a, a leak yet for a dynamic duel. So we're going to be watching the leaks, of course, um, for today on Thursday. But this is massive, right? A 99 rated Usman or Varane dropping on this game. Now, both of these guys already have really good cards in FIFA, right? You've got the flashback Varane, who is in my team still. So many people use this card. I mean, just imagine a 99 rated boost in this card. We're talking uh, probably... 95 pace we're talking maxed out defending most likely just about maxed out physicality as well the agility and balance is always the problem with Varan. and you give his dribbling like a plus 10 boost or something like that he's going to be a really really insane card so that's going to be a just a demon of a center back to try to get past in people's teams now also an usman dembele 99 rated card is going to be pretty cracked as well and i think if we're going to see one of these two on a Friday, I feel like the number one winner would most likely be Usman just because he's the attacker. Um, and I don't know, people love the five-star, five-star. Varane is Manchester United though and Premier League. So I think it's pretty clear that these two would most likely win. Of course, we can't say that for sure, but I, that's kind of my opinion on who I believe is going to win from these SBCs. Now let's talk about it a little bit too, because with these cards being 99 rated and we getting the first SBC tomorrow on Friday, I would imagine that they would be a little bit more expensive. And we've had a few more expensive SBCs recently, right? We have had the Griezmann yesterday that's about 450,000 coins. We had, of course, the very expensive Ferland Mendy. A lot of the other voting SBCs have been cheap, though, right? I think the most expensive voting SBC that we have had, besides 
uh, you know, those not the voted ones, but the other premium ones that we had this last week with Mendy and Griezmann has been Luis Diaz at like 300,000 coins. So, you know, a 99 rated Usman Dembele and a 99 rated Varane, I just think that these guys would end up being a lot more um, than, you know, I, I think they can't be cheap, right? This, this Usman card used to be millions of coins. He's 95 rated. It's 150K now. They're being in packs. You know, and Usman, especially if it's a right wing, I don't know if they would do any position changes or hopefully they would add a couple traits to this Dembele because he's already five star, five star. So hopefully with, you know, they've been adding on some traits, these cards, maybe outside foot or finesse shot for Dembele. That'd be fantastic as well. Or like technical dribbler or something. Um, it'd be nice to have one of those. But I would also expect to see these SBCs being a little bit more expensive. So some people are already like, Nate, do I need to save my fodder? It might be kind of a smart idea to do so. Um, depending on where your motivation is going to be tomorrow on Friday, remember we are going to have swaps packs available from Summer Swaps number two. Those big 82 times 25, 83, 84, 85 times 20, and the 86 times 15 will all be available on Friday. But now you just have so many options of where you can put that fodder. So just kind of maybe plan out and say, hey, Maybe I need to save my fodder a little bit. Today on Thursday should be a pretty easy day to save that SBC fodder if you want to. Uh, we'll have the re-up, of course, of the 85 times 10 that is refreshing every single day. The footies times 10 upgrade, I don't exactly know when this refreshes, but uh, because I have not done it. So that might refresh today. I think it's on a two-day rolling period, and I think the last time we did it was on Tuesday. Um, so the 86 plus player pick, of course, the 85 times 10, those are coming back today. Maybe be careful with those is what I would say is maybe it's the time to start thinking about saving that fodder just a little bit, thinking about what big SBCs and what big content could be coming on Friday with that vote yesterday. Now, also with the vote yesterday, and I think this is part of the reason why the market started to drop off. One of the reasons that the market started to drop off a lot was because this makes us think about a France focused week now i can't confirm that this is like a hundred percent going to be a france week because we don't have the dynamic duo yet but usually and so far the voting and the dynamic duos have gone hand in hand so we do really think it's going to be a france week we just don't know if it's going to be a france week or a league one league i think there might be a week there might be a little bit of a difference there but like look at some of these cards on the market even your french cards like everything is down from yesterday, Ginola was like 2.4, 2.5 mil. He is now 1.9 million coins. I mean, literally everything yesterday dropped so much. Franck Ribéry um, is now under 500K, and I'm pretty sure he was like six or 700K in, in the last two days. I haven't been following his, his price too closely, but he has tanked in the past 24 hours with his price going down so much. Ronaldo is 4 million coins. Uh, Marcelo was 800K. He is now 600,000 coins. And I, th I think it's a combination of a couple things. First of all, the pack luck this entire week has been fantastic, right? So many people have been packing these cards. You can see our first on refresh, Marcelo sitting right here. I think the pack luck and the fact that we had a decent SBC yesterday with the footies voting the SBC, bringing some supply to the market, that did cause some of these cards to get packed, right? You see, first owner fresh cards were popping up very, very often yesterday, and especially some of your lower tier cards, your less expensive ones, were the ones that dropped off a lot as well. Some of your team of the seasons, um, like Eden Hazard was like, you know, still 180,000 coins yesterday. I believe now he is close to 100K, like really, really big drop-offs on these cards. Okay, maybe about 120, 130 for Hazard. But like it was the supply yesterday. And I just think the fact that we had a France vote really made a lot of people go out and rethink their teams and, and sell cards to get prepared about what is going to be coming tomorrow on Friday and, and get their France teams ready. I mean, even though Teo Hernandez was in the vote, you did see his card team of the season wise drop down in price a ton. Teo Hernandez went from like 230,000 coins or somewhere around 200K. He went all the way down to 160. He is now back up to 200K because people don't believe he's going to be in and some people started buying french cards for their teams that they would be looking to use in the cup this coming uh weekend and especially starting tomorrow uh so it was a combination of those two things i think the really insane vote caused people to go out and sell some cards because they knew that they were going to have to have some coins at the ready to get ready for these 99 rated footies cards that were going to drop and the supply and just, you know, all that kind of created some really big market drop-offs in price. I mean, we could take a look at so many cards. I was even looking at Hyunmin Sun tonight, 490,000 coins for the Sun card, who yesterday was 650. 
thousand coins. There are so many examples of cards that dropped off even further in price yesterday. Salas, 200K. Walker's down 100,000 coins. Ronaldo's 900. And Mbappe Tots, 1.2 mil. Like all of these cards everywhere across the game were dropping yesterday because of the Griezmann SBC, because of the supply, and just because of the hype and the panic selling of these potential cards that are going to be dropping uh, starting tomorrow on the game. So all of that just created a lot of madness, and people are starting to think about their France teams. Now, again, like I said, we do not have a leak for a dynamic duo just yet, and I think that leak most likely coming today would really cement the fact that we think a France cup or some sort of like France themed week is coming ahead and it would be a really good final finalization I guess the footies final week with all the France cards that we've had you can make a really really insane France team at the moment uh last couple days to get the Bundesliga cup wins in by the way I've got 10 games to play I have to win eight to get the biggest and to get the all the rewards complete so I'm really trying to go eight and two today on Thursday to get all of my rewards in since I skipped some of the games on the weekend which is coming back to haunt me. But that Footies France Cup is going to end up being really, really sweaty. I even made my France team and I called it Sweat Week because that's honestly what this next coming week is probably going to feel like. But, you know, a France team as well, a lot of people have really good French cards in their club just because they've been so meta, right? Take a look at this team. I mean, the best France team that I have right now with all the subs that are on the bench, I mean, like, incredible, incredible amounts of quality inside of this team. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have really great France teams as well. And I think that's just gonna add and bring some hype to this next week of footies if it indeed, indeed is France. Could be France, could be League One. That's why we really need that dynamic duo to drop or a leak for that to really give us some ideas on what could happen with that. So that's kind of what we're thinking for this next week of footies and how things are going to go. Of course, we have to talk about SBC fodder because we've seen the price drops. We have seen these cards going down in the hype, in the panic sale before tomorrow on Friday, which is, you know, it's going to be a really big Friday at FIFA, let's be honest, with the big SBC going to be dropping. But today, I think we could even see some more price drops on SBC fodder and on the cards that are in packs because of division rivals rewards early today on thursday you might be like nate do people take tradable rivals rewards well actually a lot of people are because with so many cards in packs and with so many of the lower tier cards like gold rares are still 1.6 1.7 k that means that people that are taking tradable packs from rewards are getting a lot more coin value back than what they used to or what they usually do so a lot of people are taking tradable packs and i remember seeing this exact same thing happen last week watch your fodder cards if you're doing any sbcs today if that has any interest to you watch your sbc fodder cards this morning on thursday because early today after a couple hours after of rewards when it, people open their packs go out and sell the cards you're gonna see some supply hit and these cards are gonna take a nosedive and they're gonna get low from all the supply they already are lower right 84 is four thousand coins flat they're just kind of dropping after you know a little bit of a spike yesterday and then going down that's what we talked about in yesterday's video i expected a spike to get them out and then just you know the supply from the the voting day sbc and again the supply today on thursday from uh, rivals rewards is going to push this down even lower there will be a low point this morning in my opinion on the 83s the 84s the 85s that you guys might want to pick up for a quick flip today for trying to stock the club i do though I would say I'd be a little bit careful with these cards. We should have marquee matchups today on Thursday as well. I do think that your fodder will be really low again tomorrow, Friday morning, Thursday night. I think I don't think you have to look to buy fodder right now for the weekend. I do think that on Friday, fodder will go up because so many people will go out and do the SBCs. Uh, but I would probably wait till tomorrow night or, or sorry, yeah, tomorrow night, tonight, tomorrow morning actually to get into some of this stuff before we get into the actual Friday of footies, you know, but if you want to try to trade it today, I think that's very possible or do the daily fluctuation with the fodder, like buying the fodder and then selling it after content. I think that's still going to happen today. You'll see a spike because there's still a lot of SBCs that are out there, but there's also some supply. So just be a little bit careful with that. And like I mentioned, with more hype building for a huge footies Friday tomorrow, 99 rated footies cards, I would be careful holding any of these footies cards that are in packs. I mean, if it does come out that it's a League One based week instead of France, like if we get a League One vote that showcases cards that are other than, you know, French items, that would make us think that it's actually going to be a League One cup instead of a France cup. But, you know, I'm really thinking it's going to be a France cup because the voting has not 
been different from the cup every single week. So, you know, just kind of watch out for some of these cards that are still in packs because, again, I think they can, there's really only one way they can go, and that is lower. But also, what you're going to have to do then is watch out for some of your other, you know, some France cards that are maybe out of packs would be a really good place to look um, that are still decently meta cards. Try to think about which cards people might be buying to use in their teams. Maybe like a fantasy foot card that's not in packs right now, that's meta enough, maybe for a lower budget. Maybe they, they could move in price. Stuff like that if you're trying to make any moves on the market in terms of French cards that could go up. But there's so many cheap French cards that are in packs right now anyways. They might move up a little bit on Friday after the supply. We'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, but I don't see a lot of France cards like exploding this weekend because people already have so many of them in their clubs with the SBCs that we have had for footies or with all the crazy packs that we have had and stuff like that. So that's kind of my thoughts on the market for today on Thursday. I mean, I bought two Suns, full disclosure. I bought two Hyun Min Sun cards just a couple minutes ago. I bought him at 470,000 coins just because I thought he was getting rare. I'm trying, this is like a risky TFA flip here. I'm trying to get these out at like 530K before rewards because I know that he's probably gonna drop down further. Uh, let me check his price right now. Yes, trading in August. I know I said this a couple times and <laughs> I think on stream yesterday too, I was like, guys, I gotta stop trading because I lose coins and cards that I forget about, but I won't forget about these. So he's 485, 490. But then if you look beyond this to like four, 550, there's like one other card listed at 530. So if I can get all these 490s to go, then I think he'll get pretty rare and then we might be able to see a quick spike at like 550K, maybe catch a sale or two. And then uh, probably going down with rewards today. So watch out for that sort of stuff on the market, the downtrend after the rewards. Now, I want to talk about Griezmann just for a minute. And also, yes, Chad, I'm going to flex this just a slight bit. Check this out. Oh, FIFA 23 beta. Yes, your boy got a beta code. I even got lucky enough to get ultimate team. Third year in a row that I got a beta code. Today's a big day for FIFA 23 information. We'll talk about this first. Why not? FIFA 23 information today. Today is the official reveal trailer. But of course, we learn more from the pitch notes than we do from the actual reveal, reveal trailer. This is the tweet that EA put out yesterday. They said the ultimate reveal for your ultimate pastime, the official trailer and everything else known to foot. The new information officially released from EA Sports is coming out today. Two hours before content. I won't be streaming, unfortunately. I've got some other stuff going on. But we might even do a specific YouTube video on the channel, double upload today, maybe late, kind of like a late video, kind of discussing a few of these things. Because um, it's just nice to have one concise thing and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it on stream, put our thoughts together and then probably um, upload something on the YouTube as well just to kind of put that out there. But I'm really interested to see for today in this, in this trailer how much they tell us because I remember last year in the Foot 22 trailer, they announced a lot of changes in division rivals and foot champions and then they kind of teased foot heroes. Well, what kind of stuff are they going to talk about? I feel I remember feeling last year like EA left us out a lot of information. They didn't tell us a bunch in this first reveal trailer. So I'm not expecting huge things today. All I'm expecting is a little bit of information and hopefully they kind of talk about some of the things that were leaked and like actually confirm them like a new chemistry system, a new currency and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be looking for in this trailer today to see if they talk about that at all. So make sure you check your emails first of all for those beta codes because sometimes they're in the spam folder and the promotions folder. Make sure you check those if you haven't already to see if you did get a FIFA 23 beta code. And if you um, also watch tomorrow around two hours before content, they will be pitch notes and a reveal trailer about FIFA 23. Now really quickly, let's just go over Thursday content and talk about Griezmann. Now, like I mentioned for today, probably just the refresh of some SBCs. I'm not expecting anything significant, literally at all. We got the hero shapeshifter captain's uh, player pick yesterday. You can do one time. It's refreshing in two more days. Um, okay, GG's. That was like our only content yesterday besides Antoine Griezmann. And I went ahead and did the Antoine Griezmann SBC like right away. You know, it had seven squads or eight squads, whatever it is. And it actually felt really craftable though. I only went out and bought the two foot birthday players off the market. I did some player picks, packed some captains. Uh, the foot fantasy situation was a little bit weird yesterday. I think captains, birthdays, and fantasy cards all went up on the low end. Um, I actually had some Hinkape um, fantasy foot upgrade cards that were just chilling on my transfer list. And then all of a sudden, 
I had forgotten about them and this dude went up. So a lot of your, a lot of those cards went up yesterday in the first couple hours. Let me see how much they're doing right now. Hinka pay is 30 K. So I sold mine at like 31 K. I think some of those were even higher foot birthdays were like 40,000 coins. I paid uh, for foot birthday cards. Are they still there Foot birthdays? Wow. That's 32 K. That's a bit of an undercut. Foot birthdays are still right around 40 K. So yeah, they're still a bit inflated after that Griezmann SBC yesterday, which once again, if you want to pump the brakes on that and not do that SBC right away, I completely understand. It's 450K. It's not that expensive, but he did get a five star, five star. And, you know, we just have other French options that are coming out. Like we have the Ben Yedder, it's coming out. And maybe this Usman Dembele, you would want to put your fodder in him instead of the Griezmann. Uh, but this card was pretty fun to play with in the one game that I did use him. Uh, he they, they did add the flare pass trait. But he's got all these other traits, you know, on his base card. Really big boost. And I haven't watched the Inception review or the Alzio review, review or anything else. But for my first game using him, um, he, he was pretty good. He, he, was very, he was very quick. You know, a Griezmann's card sometimes, even though he has really good dribbling stats, I, I remember the flashback earlier on this year felt just a little bit trucky, like a mini truck, just a little bit. Um, but, you know, this one felt really, really good. And with the five-star, five-star, he's going to be an absolutely fun card to use this weekend during a France Cup, hopefully, if that's what we get. So I was excited for that SBC, very craftable. I thought that was, you know, even though it was an ultimate footies SBC, I liked the value there a lot more. Also, I cannot forget to do this Lacroix. I got to get this done today. Now, again, like I said, Thursdays are usually a bit of a quieter day. One thing you might be able to work on today to get ahead of the game just a little bit is finish up any objectives you need to do. I know it might be boring to do a gameplay Thursday, but with probably less content going on in the SBCs, getting some squad battles games in, I started with Belgium, getting some One Nation games in, I still need to do Portugal and France, or maybe even getting some objectives games done for a dynamic duo, for Casemiro, whoever it may be, or even Silver Stars. Today might just be a really good day to try to finish off as much of this as you can, or as much as that you care about, especially the swap tokens. Uh, I would kind of, you know, make sure you try to get a few of these done because it will be coming tomorrow where we'll be able to redeem those swap tokens in for summer swaps number two. So again, a lot of market drop off. I expect more of that today with more supply, marquee matchups and rivals rewards. People are taking tradable packs because golds are expensive and there's so many specials in packs that a lot of times you're packing something to make your coins back. Uh, again, big reveal day with the trailer. We'll be talking about that on the stream and on a YouTube video today as well. So if you're excited for a 99 rated footies cards though, that was the biggest information from yesterday and the biggest piece of hype. Hit the thumbs up on the video. I cannot wait to see how it goes this weekend for the last weekend of footies. But if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But it has been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.